How's it going, everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. I'm going to be looking at another Peace River Brewing beer today. Um, reviewed a couple of their beers in the uh, last week or two. I was there for the first time, or in Peace River, for the first time in like, geez, five, six years, something like that. Figured check out their brewery. It was closed, so I went to the next door uh, liquor store. I think it's called Barrel Wine and Spirits. Really good selection of just like, I mean, I found stuff there I was really surprised to find. Uh, Cachaças and Piscos, not very common in uh, Canada and stuff, but found them there and uh, I was pretty stoked. But they also had a bunch of Peace River Brewing beers, so I bought a mix pack and a uh, four pack of one of their IPAs. So I'll be going for my third uh, of the mix pack here. Um, Peace River Brewing, of course, Peace River uh, Brewing, or in Peace River, Alberta. Um, yeah. What we got here, we got a Amber Ale and a Pink IPA. Don't know what the hell that means, but uh, I'll go with the Amber. I'm planning on uh, having a Tequila Old Fashioned. Just reviewed a Tequila, and um, you know what? Tequila Old Fashioned and uh, an Amber Ale to wash it down sounds like a good evening to me. So let's go. Um, Foxtail Amber Ale. There we go. Uh, color is amber, malt forward, mild bitterness. It says uh, medium bodied amber style ale, 5% alcohol by volume. Don't know the hops, don't know the malts. Let's get it cracked, poured, see how it is. Pouring it into my awesome small batch glassware, uh, what would you call this? I don't know, a tulip without the stem? I guess just a stemless tulip. Uh, looks awesome. Check out their glassware. Uh, they're based out of uh, San Francisco. They make some of the best glasses I've ever seen. Other than straight up tiki mugs. These guys are, like, the best glass con or booze containers you can drink from. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, nice hazy amber color, as you would expect from an amber ale. Um, tons of carbonation. This is Ooh. Sorry about this. Such is life, ain't it? Such is life. Uh, here we go. The fuck? All right. Um, yeah. A uh, bunch of sound coming off of this beer, crackling like crazy. Let's get an aroma. Pure malt. A little bit of hops, but like 90% of the aroma is just toasty, roasty malt. Um, for 5% amber ale, this has like, like big brown ale kind of aromas, you know? Mm. That smells awesome. Let's try it out. Cheers. That's good. Holy shit. That's good, man. First beer I tried from them, I was uh, 
all right with. Uh, the second one, which I reviewed, I'll probably be putting that up. You've probably already seen it if you're a regular. Um, like that one, the uh, Light Ale. Wasn't the biggest fan of their black currant uh, sour Light Ale, whatever it was. But this, mm. if I'm at a brewery and I'm trying their beers, I'm not going for the Amber Ale ever, really. Because I usually find them very boring. So, uh, I just skip them. This is really good. Uh, wow. Just tons of big, big malt flavor. Uh, If they boosted this up into like an English style barley wine, aged it in like maybe bourbon barrels uh, at like 10% alcohol, this would be like a world class beer. Um, I'm saying this is one of the better amber ales I've ever tried, and that's no lie. Um, <laughs> this is really fucking good. Hints of vanilla in there, caramelly, coffee, some chocolate as well. Um, usually when I'm drinking amber ales, it's just like, okay, there's a little bit of toasty malts and it's gone. This has the whole package. I'm really impressed. I'm sorry that uh, that camera fell and shit there. Um... Because, I mean, it's a dis disservice to this awesome beer. Uh, hell yeah. I'd buy this every day. Um, or at least every week. Um, yeah, this is awesome. I'm going there sometime in August again. Uh... And I'll have to get more of this. This is a really, really good amber ale. I'm rarely impressed by, like, ambers and, like, uh, low ABV stouts and, like, uh, I don't know, golden ales and stuff like that. But what they're doing out there with that uh, light ale and this guy... This is cool shit. Um, this is cool shit. Yeah, ratings wise. As an amber ale of the best I've had. Um, top three, top five of all time. And I've had... 100, 200... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's up there. I'd go style-wise, 95 as a beer in general is something I just want to drink. I'd still go low 90s, you know, um, A to A+, plus, depending on the style, depending on the beer, whatever. It's really good. And it's the nearest brewery to me, so that makes it even better. I might have to jack that up to a uh, hundred. <laughs> no, I won't do that. But it it is really cool. Um, yeah, super flavorful. Five percent alcohol, so you can drink tons of it. Um, I mean, two four packs on a nice bonfire. You know, easy, easy go. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Pretty impressed. I'm actually wildly impressed. So there we go. Drink this. If you can get it, drink it. Hey, if you can trade for it, try it out. If you want to try a really good world class 
amber ale. This one is it. So yeah, till the next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and cheers.